Just a man and his camera. Going through a busy airport. Drawing a lot of unwanted attention to himself. Hey, how you doing? Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Baltimore, Washington International Airport, where we are excitedly waiting to board our plane to Los Angeles, California. It's been less than a week since the federal mask mandate on aviation and transportation was at least temporarily lifted, and more importantly, it's been almost five years since the last time we were anywhere near California. So we thought this would be a great opportunity to take you along on our flight, show you how we're doing and how we're getting to California, what that transportation and travel situation looks like in this new age and most of all we want to take you along see the amazing theme park that we're about to go conquer some for the first time and one for the first time in a long time i'm tim i'm about to rejoin katie and our friend kaylee from fantastic fan and where are we going guys We did not. We are mooching. We've been snaking snacks from Haley since we took off. When it comes to what Southwest provides for you, you always got your little snack mix thing here. Regardless of whether it's a two hour flight or a five and a half hour flight like ours, it looks like domestic flights are mostly just serving little snack packets. Which is why we need to be reliant on the kindness of others to get through without lunch. I cannot possibly understate how awesome it is to not have to put the mask back on between bites. I think we had a little bit of turbulence just a couple minutes ago as we pulled last thunderstorm, but otherwise we've been trucking. This guy is getting us in 12 minutes early. He's determined to, even though we got on the plane late and took off late. We're gonna get in early. Now all we have left to travel is the two and a half hours between Dallas, where we are flying above now, and LA, which is about the same distance as Baltimore to Orlando. So from here on out, we're used to the journey. Suddenly, it's significantly earlier than it once was. Welcome to LA, ladies. <laughs> Yoink! All right, we have arrived. We are safe and sound. We are about an hour and a half behind, but that's okay because it is earlier here than it was in Baltimore when we left. So now we have to pick up the rental car and then it will be on to dinner and hotel. At LAX, all of the rental facilities are off-site for the most part, so you have to wait for a shuttle to take you to the dealer of your choosing. Ours is Enterprise, so this is not our ride. But very soon. Now this car's gonna cut off our bus. Come on, bus! You can do it! Here it comes! Stay where you're at. If you're an Uber driver picking up people in the bus lanes at LAX, shame. Shame on you. Yeah! Wow, that one is a lot heavier than it looks like it's gonna be. Yeah, I think that'll work. See if it closes. I mean, it doesn't have to if we can just move it to the middle. Oh, I thought you were gonna say, like, it doesn't have to close. Here, dude. No, it, it does have to close, but... <laughs> there, that'll close. Is there a button? Did you just hit the pole? I, well, I'm discombobulated. I, I was like... Yay! I the pole. We did it! I don't know if he's gonna use this clip at all, but he has it. All right, so we got the car sorted. We are on the road headed to our hotel, but we realized we haven't eaten in about 12 hours. I feel like there's only one option when you land in LA and you're hungry. Any guesses? Update. We have checked in to our hotel for the night, the Hilton at Universal City. Guess where we are, guys? 
Universal Studios Hollywood. Didn't think we were making any other stops on the way to Disneyland, did ya? But we are. And we got a theme park view room. Look at the beauty. It'll look even better tomorrow morning. We're going to Universal Hollywood tomorrow. We're going to Knott's Berry Farm in a couple of days. And then we will make our final destination, Disneyland Resort, including both Disney's California Adventure and Disneyland. As far as how travel went today, I won't say it went perfectly because Southwest did shift a couple of flights before we even got to this day. So it was already a little bit janky. And then we had a, a little bit of a delay getting out of the airport, but the flight itself went fine. As far as masks go, since the federal mandate has now fallen away, you do not have to wear a mask on the plane. As I mentioned, you don't have to wear it in the airport. TSA is not enforcing it. It's totally up to you whether or not you feel comfortable. As someone who is fully vaccinated and actually recently recovered from a breakthrough infection, I felt perfectly comfortable going maskless, but other people don't, and that's fine. Asterisk. Hey guys, Future Tim here, coming to you from the editing suite. I wanted to pause here because two days after telling you all how exciting it was to not have to wear a mask on the plane, I actually did come down with a really bad cold. Might have gotten in on the plane, might have gotten it at the airport, might have gotten it at Universal. There's really no way to know. But in the vlogs to come, you'll hear my voice start to sound really, really rough, gradually worse and worse until eventually Katie has to take over the narrative for the last couple videos. It just goes to show that there's more stuff floating out there than just COVID-19, regardless of whether or not you're vaccinated, recovered, or partially immune. Even though it wasn't required, if I had to do it all over again, I'd probably have worn a mask during more of our travel. Hard lessons learned young. All right, with that said, back to the wrap. So I would say we had about 40% of the plane not or wearing masks rather and 60% not wearing masks if that gives you any kind of idea of what your risk level is I would say assess it personally and go from there we've had a great day a very long day and we're looking forward to having a much better day tomorrow because we are hitting the parks first thing in the morning thank you for joining on our travel adventure I'm Tim I'm Katie. I'm from fantastic fandoms and we will see you on the next one every day it's a new adventure